Hello everyone, so today we'll be covering part 3 of um, the Pace Light and Bing Ad series. Um, if you haven't watched the first two parts, you can go on my channel here, Think and Grow Rich, and watch the first two parts. Because if you haven't, it's, it might be a little bit difficult because I've covered a lot of things you should be do, you should be doing. Um, if you don't if you don't have that much time to go through everything, then the main thing you wanna look out for is um, this paste bin over here, where I explain how to um, cover up your links so that you can host your own link. I mean, you can host the affiliate link on your own website. You can probably skip the video for a bit and then just get to that part. That's if if you've already got your offers and CPA page, then you can just you can move to part three, but. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not going to be covering everything again, because I've already done it here, so that's all there is to it. Yeah. Alright, and so here's what we'll be covering today. Um, keywords, ad copy, placement, and um, on other settings, bidding, us paying for your ads, um, any uh, common issues that I've come across before, and coupons. Alright, let me just point out, you can see it's AdWords, but the thing is... Um, I've been blocked from Bing ads many times, so I can't really get an account up and running. It's going to take me too long. Um, but the thing is, the platform is, is almost exactly the same. And also, we need Google AdWords for the keyword tools. Everything else is pretty much the same, so don't worry if because you're seeing Google AdWords. It's it's not much of a difference. Um, and if you if you already use Bing ads, you'll know that it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, it, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, so don't worry about it. Um, all right then. So what we'll start with is um, keywords. Um, I also have to add add copy research. Um, yeah, all right then. So by now you've already got your offer, and you've got your your, your landing page as well. So this is one site we got, we're going to be using to be getting um, extra keywords and spying on other people's ads. I'm actually I'm gonna show you two ways um, spying ads. I'm gonna write so I don't forget. Um, search engines, yeah, but I should do it. All right. So. To get to get started, we're going we're going to start with the keywords, and we can do that over here with the keyword planner from Google. Bing Ads has one as well, but you know Bing Ads they don't have as many users using the search engine, so I'd recommend using the Google AdWords one because Google obviously they've got like billions of people searching every day, or billions of searches every day probably, uh, whereas Bing Ads is pretty small. Um, let me see what I searched up last so you can get an idea. I see I was doing some mortgage, mortgage refinance. So basically what, what you do is, you know, I'm going to restart it because, um, let me see, how do I restart this? Refresh it and then so I can show you how to get, how to do it from the start. So basically what you want to do is, is get your main keywords that relate to your offer and um, basically you're going to input input those words there. So where would you like to start? Search for new keywords. Here we go. So for me it was the mortgage refinance. So you write your main word over here um, or the service or whatever, the landing page. This would be CPA landing page. This this one's not important. The product category. Make sure you get this one right. Locations. Yeah, you pretty much want to do all locations unless you want to target a specific country. But that should be fine. Languages. I'll probably choose English for this one because I don't want to get any like you know, Chinese or anything like that so I'll just choose English negative keywords so these are keywords that you don't want to be included in your um, in your keyword list I'm not fussed about that now but if you don't want to make sure like you don't want 
Um, for example, if you're only giving out paid stuff and you don't want to do it free in there, you can write free here so there's no free anywhere in your keywords. You can decide how uh, how far back you want to go. I'm not fuss about that as well. Um, so obviously, depending on how, how many keywords you want, you probably want to go back a couple of years. Depends what kind of trend you're trying to hit, but it's up to you on on the date range you what you want to choose. All right, keyword filters you can do that as well. You can also um, filter it by the bids, so you know how expensive each keyword is. Keywords to include if you want to have specific ones in there. And these you got some more options here. Yeah. So let's so then you just click on get ideas. Or oh, let me get my uh, mod page. Uh, I'm, not, I'm just gonna go for this one for now. I can't remember exactly which category it was. Make sure you know exactly which category it's in. You'll get a better keywords. All right. So now we're going to get some ideas. So there's 10 to 100 million searches in a year. So here we can see the average monthly searches and the bids. It's quite expensive on Google AdWords. It's, it's way cheaper on Bing ads because they're not as big and it's not as refined. But what you can do is, um, so here what we're going to do is pretty much take all the keywords. So we're going to just keep all the keywords. I'm not, if you wanted to filter it, you can, but I wouldn't. I want to do like because something that's 18 pound here, you can probably get it way cheap on Bing ads. Because generally, this is like the highest bid. Um, it doesn't mean you won't get reach or you won't get clicks just because you're not paying 18 pound or 38. You probably just won't get as many clicks because don't forget that there are millions of searches a day. So that's where it goes. And also, yours probably won't be this expensive depending on your offer and your niche. This is just mortgage, which is always going to be expensive because it costs over a hundred thousand. I mean, per client, you can probably get it's over a hundred thousand generally. It's a it's a high valued niche. Right, so what I would so you, what what you want to do is click on add all. Okay, so this is my range in general between zero to twenty three pound. But since I'm not using AdWords, it's fine. Um, and here what you want to do is just copy to to your clipboard. And then just click, click, click copy, and boom, you, you got your keywords. So in total, we got 700 keywords. Yeah, we got 700. So like I said, if you want more keywords, um, you could have just um, changed your settings a little bit. We must have see if you, if you clicked on that, you probably get way more. Let me click on that. Let's see how many I get now. No, I didn't get that many more. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, 700 is probably way more than enough. Um, you don't want to have too many keywords as well. I probably stick between like around 100, I think. Yeah, I'll do it around, around 100. So first you want to have like maybe 300 and then you want to narrow it down until you get like, to, so you know which keywords works. Because right now you just, you want to be testing these keywords, see what you get. And then, um, To see what what results you get the keyword. All right, so now you got, now you got your keywords. Um, you're pretty you're pretty much good to go. You can look at the Bing keywords as well if you want, and get get some from there. So compare this conversion. But you're all right. What's in the UK? This is the website where you can pretty much spy on other people's ads. Obviously, it's not free, but you can get some free, um, like like some free samples. It's quite good. And basically, you just want to use you. you what you want to do is you're gonna to want to change up your your list and add some of these keywords here that you uncover from these competitors. I'll show you. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. So now what we're going to do is create a campaign. It's the exact same thing in um, the Bing ads. 
I mean, this yeah, it's the exact same thing. This lock, this this is my first time using Google AdWords, so this how you know it's definitely pretty much the same. So you just got the search network, obviously. Make sure you click on search network. Don't do don't do the shopping lot stuff. Uh, Finance. All right. You probably want to keep it standing here, so I'll just choose this one here. Give us search results. Yeah. We don't have any existing campaigns. Um, partners. Yeah, I'm not going to include partners. All right, countries. So basically, some offers that they only let you choose certain countries, like pay for like you you'll see in the countries allowed list. So I'm just going to choose United Kingdom for now, but where, whichever country is allowed, just choose. Don't click on all countries. Make sure you get your countries right, because what will happen is you won't get paid for your offers. You might get flagged for spam and bad things happen. So if it's worldwide, then you can you can go for that one. Otherwise. Um, look at the countries that are allowed. Languages depends on your countries, so I'm, I'm gonna stick with English for now. Or right, bidding, this is um, quite important. Um, one, one second. All right, back again. So you want to keep your bidding manual so that you don't waste money. Because obviously. If you, Depending if you're a corporation, you've got so much money to spend, you probably want to keep it manual so you can control how much you spend daily. So default bid. Just try, try and keep it low. Try and spend over like $1 per click. You want you want to keep it a decent amount. So I'll, I'll probably start with like 40 um, you also want to check how much it actually um, the, the charge per click. You'll see that in, in your list later on. Once you input your keywords, it'll show like a suggested list of how much you should bid. And the um, daily budget is probably at five pounds a day. So about five dollars a day. Manual. Yeah, you can do these as well, but um, if you start out with manual, you get the most conversions. Yeah, you don't want to start with that. You want to start with manual. I mean, I still do manual till this day. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'll just leave that on. That's not a big deal. Um, add extensions. Yeah, don't, don't do add extensions when you start off. And it depends though. Um, if you like it. Yeah, but since we're doing CPA, we're not, we're not, we're not going to need much of this. Let me to my section. You might want to use this. Um, or look, location. It depends on the offer. Just um, customize everything to your offer and what you're doing. I mean, if you're some service business, you probably use this. Add a phone number. Um, descriptive text, maybe. Depends. So I'm just going to keep like this for now. Um, oh, yeah, I think I forgot to copy the the keywords but I'll do that in a bit so search network yeah got all that done save and continue <clears throat> create ad group so here's where you put your your landing page I'm just gonna put on google.com for now but you did put your landing page make sure you use the um that thing I showed in the last video where you cover up the um the link so that it doesn't, it's not the actual referral link, it's within your website. Actually, I might just click on this. Wait. Yeah. And group one. Mm. Mortgage one. 40 cents. So this, this is where you create an ad group, which is within a campaign where within you'll have ads. That's how it works. So make sure you don't create a comp campaign each time you want a new ad or ad group. You just make a new ad group. So, for example, you might have one campaign on housing, another campaign or on some stock markets, you know, and then you just want to keep everything within. That's just to keep it tidy and uh, 
makes everything easy to be honest because within the ad groups these ads will use these same keywords all right so now i'm going to add the keywords so this is where you add your keywords and this will be my general proper thing this is my general bid across all these ads which we're going to create in the next step so i'm just going to duplicate this one time so i can get my ads i mean my my keywords which i forgot to copy but but you just want to copy your keywords from there yeah keyword planner this time i'm going to resume and then let's get my keywords and here's where they'll show the um the, uh, the bids per for every keyword because each keyword has a certain value which Google places on it and so add all I think I already did that but let me just so I'm just going to copy that boom here we go start with yeah see like I said you, you probably want to they even saying you shouldn't use too many keywords but like I said, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um, start with lot with a lot more until later on you can actually refine your keywords so you know like you can narrow it down. Yeah, you just wanna you're gonna wanna narrow it down per ad group. So one ad group might be when to do stuff. Another one could be what, for example, these these um, keywords and these keywords could be another ad group. You know, you get the drift. Um, mortgage could be another ad, ad group, all like that. So, yep. Let me skip it. Now. All right. So these are. Let me just get this right. Oh yeah. So. It, it kind of recommends some extra keywords, but we don't need any extra ones. Yeah, this is way too many. So when you when you get to your keyword plan, just try and narrow it down a little bit. I didn't narrow it down. I didn't narrow mine down, so that's probably why I got too many. Because mortgage is quite a big niche. That's why it's going to bring um uh, bring up more uh, what's it called more keywords. All right, so that's all there is for here. I'll probably remove some of these right now. Right. Yeah, don't leave any empty spaces. All right, so continue to the ads. All right, this part is quite important. This is where you're going to use aspineedge.com. Um, let's start with an example. I'll show you how to, how to do this. So, my niche would be a mortgage refinance. Uh, so, I'm, I'm about to charge someone about £18. But yeah, who cares? So, basically, um, what you do is actually wait. I could probably just get this link. I think it's gonna try and make me sign up, but it's pretty, it's pretty quick. I'll just there you go. So literally, just type in anything, and then you can use it for a little while. All right. Now we're going to get a whole lot of data about this website, which is supposedly my compare. So what you want to do is, like I was saying here, um, spying on ads, um, Google your, your your keywords. So now market refiners, and then straight away you know that this is probably the best ad running right now. I mean these three are, are 
from from what one of the best. So that so what you want to do here is just copy them. That's literally all you have to do. So you can see these headlines. Ready to remortgage your home. 30 day approval guaranteed. This red line's working so well for them that they're willing to spend about ten pounds per click or up to seventy pounds was there like thirty pounds. So literally all you want to do is just copy the headline and then just rewrite it in your own way. Or this headline here. For example, if you're if you're gonna use if you're gonna be using Bing, you can do that as well there. But you can do in Google as well because they're spending more money in Google. So you're literally just taking the money that they're spending and just stealing their ideas. It's pretty cool. I mean, everyone's stealing from each other at the end of the day, but just take take the easy, take some of these headlines, think of your own, or just rewrite it. Um, most of it. Let's see. Yeah, so I think this guy, this um, company is probably using an extension, I think. Actually, wait. wait. Nope. Let's see. Nah, so basically you just put half then and half here. Yeah, that's how it is. Create second ad. The headlines are reversed order. Yeah, why not? Path. Wait, this is your website. Yeah, this would be your. Wait, actually, wait, what's this again? Path, path. And, oh yeah, this part is display URL. I don't know what they call it. Yeah, they call it path here. Yeah. Display URL. So yeah, you can decide what you want your display URL to look like here. Um, just make whatever you want, to be honest. Just test out different ones, see what works. So their display URL is current in the UK. This one's a bit longer, low refinance or these funds. Remortgage. Just try and make it descriptive so people can know what it's about, even when they see the CD or display URL. Mm -hmm, sample ads. All right. And now your description, you get eight characters. Same exact same thing, just look at some of these. And so this way you know exactly these are working really well. But you don't have to be that you don't have to be that creative to be honest when it comes to these ads. Because you know these are working pretty well. Um, obviously you, you can test your own ones if you want. But just make, just uh, make sure you look at these as well so that you know you're not missing out, just test them out. See, see what works. All right, should, I'm not going to copy these and look at here. So this is the website where they give you them uh, the PPC information, which is pay per click. So where we go is PPC keywords. Oh, yeah, this is what I was saying. You can um, steal the keywords. You can see here, cost per seventeen and positions for. Yeah. So what I do is I just take some of these keywords. Because obviously these are, these are the keywords that they're using. They're not going to show too many, but even five is pretty good. So just take these five, go back here, go, go to the last step and just add them in. It's pretty simple. And then this is the Bing and Yahoo. Yeah, so same thing, just take these keywords and boom, add them into your list. And then the ads, they're only going to show a few of the ads. So as you can see, they've got a different ad look. You can see how they're changing it. Refi rate, talk to a loan advisor now. Refi, talk to a loan advisor now. Um, so you can see how they're changing it up to test out which ones work. They're using it again, I don't want to pronounce it, but REFI. And they just changed the part at the end of it. RFI program, REFI, RFI rate. So you gotta be small with it and test out different ads. So you can see that these two are doing pretty well. They're getting, they're getting the most traffic. So average monthly traffic is getting a lot of traffic. But like I said, you just want to test them out. See what's going on. See, this is how you want to be as well. Just you got making loads of different ads within your ad group. You can see which ones are working because this is a big company and they're making all these ads to test them out. We probably got loads more here as well. All right, so you can, you can do the same thing on Bing. Like I said, it's exact, 
Um, carrying the ads is the exact same thing when being as it is here. So you find your URL is the URL you've made in the last tutorial to your um, landing page. Yeah, don't, don't click on that. I don't think they show very good advice there. Let me see what they say. How to make a great ad, include prices. Yeah, this is simple stuff. Don't don't take advice from here. And yeah, once you've done that, oh yeah, your coupon as well. I forgot. Coupon's pretty simple. Um, you, you go to billing and payments. Show you um, 